A Kilikimaka is a thing to say on a bride. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is now the beginning of December. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are in the beginning of December already. Christmas is 20 days away, guys. Like, oh my god, where where did this time go? But anyway, this is my November rants and raves. I didn't do one for October because I wasn't really trying anything new in October. So there wasn't a video for October. So I tried a couple new things this month or last month, November. Tried a couple things in November and um, yeah, so this is what I got. There's more raves and there were rants this month, which I'm really pleased about I guess it just means that I'm starting to pick up on things that I like more of and I'm trying to stay away from things that I don't so yeah let's get started okay the first thing we're going to start off with is the Avino clear complexion foaming cleanser I absolutely love this stuff I first heard about this stuff from Miss Glamorazzi she uh, oh gosh this might have been a video a while back but she was ranting and raving about this um, I can't even remember what stuck out in my mind. I think it was because you could put it on your eyes and to wash your makeup off. Because that's what I've been doing and I've been doing it wrong. Uh, oh well. Uh, but I take the Yes to Cucumbers cleansing cloth, wipe my face off, and then I wash my face with this at night. And I still have the Clean Clear Morning Burst in the morning. So, still haven't, I mean, I haven't seen any complexion changes, but I haven't been religious with it. So, I guess we'll see. But so far, this is my favorite because... I can get my waterproof mascara off without looking like a raccoon or using 60 million of those little clothy things. So yeah, this stuff, if you guys haven't tried it, you really need to pick this stuff up. I think it was 3 $4 most. It, I think I got this at my commissary, so pick it up at Walgreens, CVS, Target, all that good stuff. Alright, and the next thing is I have three different nail polishes the first one that I was wearing a lot in November was wet and wilds mega last in wet cement and if you guys had seen my Instagram shot of um, my Halloween costume in October obviously but I was Sally and I needed to find the perfect Sally nail color and this just happened to be it and I fell in love with it and um it actually kind of looks like wet cement on your nails, but it's really pretty. It, it's hard to describe, and I love these brushes compared to a normal size brush. Like, these are really, really, really thick brushes. And the color payoff is really good. I think it only took me two coats for a nice, even coat. But I do two coats even if the polish only needs one. Just force a habit, I guess. And then my next two favorites were another Wet n Wild Mega Last and this was in Disturbia. It's a very dark purple. I don't know how else to describe it. It looks almost black in the jar and then when you shift it in a different light like it's got like that purple tint to it. It is a very nice deep plummy purple and then speaking of plum uh, this is Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure in Plum Look and this is more uh, and the camera showing up brighter. It's actually a little bit darker than it's showing up on the camera. But this is more of a, I guess I want to say like a satiny finish. Whereas this one is very shimmery. There's no glitter in it. It's just shimmery. But yeah. Three favorite nail polishes today. And the Wet n Wild are actually really cheap. And they have really good coverage. The Sally Hansen I think are like 7 or $8 dollars. But my CVS had these on clearance. They were getting rid of them, and it only cost me a dollar. So I'm kind of happy. I wish I'd gotten more colors before they got rid of them. All right, enough rambling on about my nail polish. The next thing we're gonna jump back to face because I'm weird like that, and I should have probably done everything in order, but I didn't. And you guys have known me far enough by now that I jump around a lot. All right, so I have two, four. I have four face products. The first one is the Avon Smooth Minerals, and this is M01 Transparent Glow. Woohoo, it's upside down. There we go. It is a loose powder. Um, I've been using this in um, replacement for my Lucky 107 Mad About You, just because I haven't refilled it yet. But this... Oh, it's 
showing up white. Oh no. Okay. Uh oh. I'm not white. I promise. Well, I'm not that white. It's showing up very. <laughs> it's showing up bright white. It goes on. Poof. It goes on. I just got it all over my laptop. All right. Let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. It's a very fine powder. And again, it's even showing up on my fingers white, but it's not white. It is a very light beige and when you rub it in it does give a very light coverage it's not um, a translucent setting powder but I use it as such just because I get really oily right up in here it doesn't do much it kind of tends to wear off on me whereas my mad about you powders last it all day so but I mean I still like this I got this in a um, a box from operation homefront last year so I decided to try it out and I've been wearing this one a lot more Alright, and then I have, this is probably one of my now all-time favorite, favorite, favorite um, foundations. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in Classic Ivory Light Number 2. What is up with my light? I'm sorry, guys. It's, even though it's still 70 degrees outside, we're getting that, like, dingy, wintery sunlight. So I don't really have very good natural sunlight for this video. Sorry. But that's what it looks like. It's just a, a little moussey cream, and I don't know, like, I kind of have issues with it when applying it with my sponge, but, I mean, the coverage is gorgeous. It actually leaves a very flawless finish, and this is, I, I told you, yeah, this is the matte one. I have this one, and then I have the smooth mousse. I actually like the matte mousse better because the smooth mousse makes my face look too dewy, so if you got, and again, I have the oil problem right here. So if you guys don't have the oil problem, the smooth mousse, and you want that dewy look, the smooth mousse is great for you. Um, if you do have a problem with oily skin, this is perfect. Like, I can wear this alone without a setting powder, and then I don't have to worry about the oil coming through and looking really gross. Um, but I love these. And again, I am shade Classic Ivory 2, and my light washes me out, so I look really, really white. Not that white. I kind of have yellowy, pinky undertones. Um... I am Hawaiian, well, part Hawaiian, so, I mean, I kind of have those hard to describe undertones. Anyway, I am rambling. Let's keep going. If you guys had seen my first video ever, hey, look, there's my kitty. Kitty, come back. Um, if you guys had seen my first video ever, it was a Targa haul, and I had actually picked up this bronzer. This is the Rimmel Sunlight Bronzer, and this is the 021. I actually picked this bronzer up. Um, back in August or whenever I had started um, the YouTube channel and I've been using it I don't know if you can see I've actually been using it quite religiously I mean the sun design's still there but I mean like if you look I don't know if you can really see that if you look towards like the center part right here you can see where I started to wear down on the sun but I use this a lot um, it's not let's see not orange it's on this finger and of course my light is horrible sorry guys but it is a uh, medium I guess a medium to light bronzer it does have a little bit of orange undertones too but not much it's more of that sun-kissed orange and I only use it right here to make my cheeks look skinnier and sometimes I bring it down on my neck and you know normal contouring spots but that is that and then this has to be my all-time favorite blush since I found it. And I've actually heard a lot of the beauty YouTubers mention this a lot. And I'm actually glad I picked it up. But this is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. I used bejeebers out of this thing. Let's see if I can get a good swatch. These are very, very pigmented. This is a nice berry wine color. Perfect for fall. I actually have it on today. I don't know if you can tell because my light is washing me out. But I put it here and then bring it up. And it's very, it is a very nice fall color. Um, this one does have a little, it looks like a little bit of shimmer. But I always thought this was a matte shade. No, nope, but it's definitely a shimmer shade. But it's very slight shimmer. It's not like bam in your face. I don't know if maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. Because there's obviously no shimmer on the face. No steamer. So yeah, if you guys haven't picked these up, you need to pick these up. I have Mellow Wine, Heather Silk, and Pearlescent Pink. And then I saw some other ones at Walmart. Um, Berry something or other that I really wanted to pick up. 
So if you guys have seen the other shades, let me know what other ones are out there. And if you haven't tried these, you need to go pick these up. They're two dollars, less than two dollars. These are freaking amazing for the itty bitty price they are, and they're so pigmented and buttery. All right. Next thing we got is again, if you've seen my first video back in August uh, with my Target haul, I had picked up the Organics Apple and Ginger Repairing Mask, and it's actually helped my hair a lot. Well, since I got it cut. Yeah, my hair was really long when I started. I think it was like down to, down to here, and then they chopped it up to here. So it's only, it's only grown like an inch. Anyway, it smells so delicious, and it's pink. But it does help my hair a lot. Um, I use this once a week. I use this on Sundays. I don't know why Sundays. I just pick Sundays, but I use this once a week on my hair, and I leave it in for pretty much the entire duration of my shower. I shampoo my hair and then I put this in, tie it up, and I leave it go. I wash my face, I wash my body, I shave, shower, wash, and then I wash it out. So it's about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on if I'm rushing, you know, kids or a uh, husband's bugging me. Yeah. But you guys should pick this up. This was, um, this actually wasn't really that badly priced. I want to say it was probably about $7. And I've been using this once a week since, since, since September? September? Yeah, I think September. Because I had to finish my Neutrogena one. But it smells delicious. It's it's apple and ginger, so it's a flower and ginger. But it's not like that spicy ginger scent, if that makes sense. But I love this. You guys should pick some up if you haven't tried it. Uh, I really wanted to try the macadamia nut oil. And that, oh my god, that stuff is so expensive. But I got some in my Beauty Army box, which will be in a blog post. So check that out. And... Yeah, so now I get to try that and see how that works because I really want to try it, but I can't see spending, what was it, like $20 on a tub this big when this is $7 and it does really well. Alright, guys. Let's keep on rolling. We're going to jump up to eyes. I've got three eye thingies for you today. Or four eye thingies, sorry. Four eye thingies for you today. My first eye product is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow and Tantalizing Taupe Quad. I got this in their um, their fall their fall something or other uh, where you like spend twenty five dollars and you got this kit free. But it's got a nice yeah you can tell like I use this you can't even see what they are. This is supposed to be your base color. I actually use it as a highlight. And then this one is your all over lid. And then this one is your crease. And then they use. Oops, and then they say this for defining. I haven't really used this one. I haven't really seen a need to use that one. They are very pigmented. Let's see if I can get a nice swatch for you. Okay, so here are the swatches. This is that right here, that base co that base color that they call it, but I you know it's more of a highlight. And then this is oops, this is the all over lid. And then the crease and then on the palette it's a line but it's supposed to be that defining I guess you know for your your smudge marks down in the corner of your eye but they are all except for no they're all very very shimmery there's no glitter pieces in them but they are very shimmery except for the line the line seems to be the only matte one so. <laughs> sorry guys Let's see and these are all over a primer um, they're all over the Lucky 107 Concrete Eyeshadow Primer, but you would get that over any primer. So. But this is really good, and I think these are only a dollar. Um, I have not seen these in Target. I've only seen them on the Elf's website, I think. Or maybe they were only available in that, that fall pack. Yeah, so if you have these and you didn't get it in the fall pack, let me know how much they are. I do believe they're only a dollar, though. Alright, my next eyeshadow favorite of this month is the Coastal Scents 42 Double Stack Palette. And this is the matte palette. Oh, this is the blush palette. Matte blush eyeshadow palette. But I've only been loving a I mean, I love them all when I got them. I tried them and I absolutely love them all. But I've only been wearing this reddish burgundy brown and then this more neutrally brown and some of this taupe and I use them actually to fill in my eyebrows I'm really weird 
I don't, I can't find a pencil to match my eyebrows because I changed my hair so much and I kind of want my eyebrows to match the color of my hair because if you haven't noticed, I was a redhead in my last video and now I'm not. <laughs> so I do change my hair a lot, but I'll probably stay like this through the rest of the winter. But these three shades are perfect. Mix them all together. Oops, sorry guys. These three shades right here. There you go. Those three are perfect for filling in eyebrows for brunettes. I mean, they're not that dark, so they kind of lighten up your face. Um, whereas if you use, like, you know, the dark browns, they're going to make your eyebrows look huge and thick and bushy and kind of like my first couple of videos, but I was a redhead then. And it kind of just, I don't know, it was hard to find a shadow, or a, not a shadow, a eyeliner that worked. And I actually use those with my... There, no. Yep, with this little brush that they gave me for... See, watch this. This is really funny. Alright, so you see these these eyeshadows? They have these cute little brushes. You pop this doodaddy out. And you have the blushes on the bottom. Um, I've only used one of these blushes. They are pigmented, but I haven't... I actually kind of forget about them. And I've been, like I said, geared towards my mellow line. But this is the brush. They gave you to apply blush with. Really? So I use it to fill in my brows. It works. It's cute. Nice little on the go. 42 shades. Not bad. Plus you got your, sh your blushes. And use this teeny tiny brush. Really? <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over this itty bitty little brush. Alright, so that's that. And now, you all know I am an absolute mascara junkie. So it's only natural that I have two mascara favorites. This one is the Rimmel Glam Eyes in Extreme Black. And I mentioned this in another favorites video, but it wasn't, like, my favorite. It was just kind of mentioned. I like this one. The brush is a lot different than the other style brushes I've seen. The bristles are really short and close together, but I like it because it doesn't give me that, that spider look, if you know what I'm talking about. But that was that. I actually picked this up on a whim because I was going to a makeup demo and I forgot my mascara and I wanted to buy one that I didn't have. And that's how this came about because it was pink and black and it was cute. Alright, sorry, I ramble a lot, guys. I forgot. I'm sorry. Alright, and my next favorite was I got this, again, in my Target haul back in September, October, September, August, September, whatever the heck it was, my very first video, I got this mascara, and I actually finally started trying it out, and I absolutely love this one. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes, and then this is, doesn't say, oh, it so doesn't say the color, but it's black. <laughs> it's whatever the black one is. And this brush, it kind of tapers off and then it gets water at the bottom and the brush the bristles if you can tell towards the tip are short and if you go towards the back they get longer I am in love with this mascara um, I only need one coat and it looks like I have nice big full lashes and I love that look I don't have to keep applying two or three coats I apply two coats anyway but I don't need to and uh, it was it was on clearance, so I don't know what it is normally. I don't even know if they still make this one. So, if you can find it, go get it. Because this is amazing. And this is, again, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes. It shouldn't be hard to find. It's gold. Alright. Next thing we have. We have two, three lip... Uh-oh. This was sitting by... Oh, no. Okay. This was sitting by the fan on my laptop, so I picked up the tube and it was hot. Okay, so the next thing I have are three lip products. And this one I've actually been wearing a lot in November. And this is by Rimmel. And I actually have it on today. I don't know if you can really tell. <laughs> but this is uh, 060 Independent. And this is their Lasting Finish Lipstick. It is a taupey, purpley, rosy color. Yeah, I'm horrible at explaining these things. I'm sorry. Um, it does have taupe undertones and like a little bit of purple in it. 
I don't really know how to describe it. When you first look at it in natural light, it looks like it's going to be a bright purple. When I picked it up, I was like, oh my god, what did I get myself into? And then I tried it, and actually it's very nice and, I wouldn't say natural, but it is a very good fall transitioning color. Um, it, Like I said, it's still 70 degrees here, and we are in December 5th. Come on, Oklahoma. Give me some snow or cold weather or something. I, I'm i getting really homesick with this this weather. All right. The next two things are the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stains. Yes, I love these things. I only have two, but I love these things. And my favorites are number 030 Smitten and 005 Crushed. This one is Smitten. Nope, that one is Crush, and that is a very dark berry color. And then this one is Smitten. This is more of a lighter berry color. This one's more purpley, and this one has more of the, uh, the pink undertone. Let's see. Okay, so this one on the outer, oops, right there, that darker one, is Crush. And that's, I probably should have put the caps on. That is that one. And then this one is smitten. Which is that one. This one comes the smitten comes off very light and comes off more of a, a pinky tone. Whereas the crush comes off more of a berry tone. The crush is actually very good um, fall color. I wore this a lot with one of my NYX glosses over it. Or it can be worn alone, but I don't it's not drying, but it's not hydrating in my opinion. But I don't like the fact that it, you know, it goes into the creases of my lips, and I can see it, and it's actually kind of grossing, grossing, grossing. Yes, word of the day, grossing. <laughs> it's actually very disgusting to me to see the lines of my lips. I'm really weird about that. Um, so if you guys have a tips on how to use these without seeing the lines, like if you think a lip primer would help let me know and I would try it out and I'll let you guys know on the Facebook page which is linked below. Alright and the next and final yep the final rave of November is the Sense of Sweet Harvest Berry Wax Tart. I am in love with this thing. This thing smells so good. It smells just like fall should smell. It's cinnamon and cloves and Oh, I just don't know how to describe it, but it does have a cinnamon clovey smell, and I don't know, guys. I am just absolutely in love with this. Um, I will link Senso Sweet down below, and you guys can check her out and get one of these before she closes for the holidays, because I'm not sure when she says she's opening back up, but she's closing soon because of the holidays, so let her know I sent you and that you want one, and yeah. But this is probably my favorite tart. For fall, I've actually, I was actually burning this in October, so October and November, and they're long-lasting if you can't tell. I've used three. This one up here was actually poured out of my warmer and back into the box because it still smells, and I burn these 24-7. So, I mean, to use three tart, three little square things in a month, or two months, I think we're good. Alright, and now we're on to my very short list of rants this uh, for November. Um, it's actually not a lot, which, like I said at the beginning, that's a good thing. But these first two products are going to shock the crap out of you. Um, I found two mascaras that I absolutely do not like, and I, I've tried them and tried them and tried them and thinking maybe I'm applying them wrong, and I just, I don't like them. So... Yeah, that was the whole purpose of you watching this part was to find out what I don't like. And this was actually a surprise to me. This was the NYX Pinup Tees uh, Individual Curl in BMC02. I don't know if that's a color. But it's black. Yeah, BMC02 is the color. It's black. But, I mean, I love the tube. And the brush is actually kind of awesome looking. It's got that slight curve with the, not really short bristles, but they're not really that long either. Um, I just, I love when it's on. It makes my lashes just like my voluminous lash um, 
my Luminous False Lashes mascara. It makes them look bigger, but it flakes, and then my eye, um, my eyelashes actually get really, really crunchy after it dries, and I just, I did not like it. And it wasn't one of those, okay, it's been a couple hours, and they got crunchy. It was, they dried, and they got crunchy, and then they started flaking, and just no bueno. And the next one is a Mark Make It Big Lash Plumping Mascara in Raven. And again, it's black. I only have black mascara. But this is like one of those really old fashiony big old brushes, which are cool. I like the big old brushes because they, you know, make them bigger and boof. Um, I don't know if maybe I got a bad tube, but this is not apply worth a crap. Like, like I said, I don't know if maybe I got a bad tube, or like, I don't know if you guys can see. Normally, when you pull it out, you'll see a little bit of mascara at the tip. There's like nothing. I don't know. Yeah, like. <laughs> I should not have to scrub it onto my hand to get a color payoff. And now I'm going to have a hard time getting that off my hand. So that was a disappointment. This was a disappointment. This came in one of my Beauty Army boxes when I first started Beauty Army. So this was a disappointment. Alright. You guys are going to probably call me crazy for this one. But um, my next rant is the... Nail Defense by Orly Strengthening and Repairing Base Coat. I know, right? Weird. You know, somebody, oh my gosh, not like in the Orly Base Coat. I'm glad I actually got a little jar instead of the big one, which I probably should have gotten the big one because for $5 more, I think it's like three times the size. Maybe not. I don't know. This is $5. The other size is 10 So I'm not complaining because this lasts a long time for me now. But I have noticed when I use this, when I go to put my polish on, my polish doesn't stick very well. It's, um, well, not that it doesn't stick. It, um, it doesn't, it's hard to describe. It, it doesn't apply easily. There you go. Like, I have to short, short, itty bitty strokes. I mean, itty bitty little strokes. And I'm sorry when. I'm trying to paint my nails. I don't want to sit there and go. I just want to go and be done. I really wish this had worked. I'm going to try it again. Because this was $5. For a little one. Whereas I don't have it up here. But I have a big Revlon um, top coat and base coat that was $5. And it's bigger than this, I think. I don't know. But I really wanted to like this, and I just I can't get past the fact that it messes up my nails. Again, it might just be I'm applying it wrong, I'm applying my polish too soon, who knows. But if you guys have any tips and tricks to make this thing work, let me know. Leave them below. If you have any rants and raves for the month of November, uh, I would love to see videos. Let me know, and I would subscribe to your channel. Leave the video responses down below. If you don't have a channel and you still want to tell me what your rants and raves are, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll respond and we can chit chat back and forth on what's going on. Subscribe up there, like down there, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.